This is a crucial time for Ukraine and for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Zelensky is here in France today and was in Germany earlier today. He's here to sign long-term broad security agreements with Germany and France, modeled after a similar one reached recently with the UK. Zelensky will also be meeting with U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris at the Munich Security Conference, a major gathering of high-ranking security officials. The agreements being signed here are not about the immediate military needs of Ukraine, although those needs are very intense. Ukraine is particularly struggling around the town of Avdiivka against Russian forces right now. And France and Germany have offered more bombs and other weapons to Ukraine to help in this battle. But the agreements here are really about the longer term and about a big political signal. These are security, political, financial promises of support to Ukraine over the next several years. These are the kind of agreements that European countries like France and Germany wouldn't have necessarily offered to Ukraine before the war, before Russia's invasion two years ago. At that point, European countries were more wary of uh, antagonizing Russia and Vladimir Putin. Those fears are out the window now, ever since the invasion. There are not many details about these agreements yet, and they do stop short of the kind of broad security guarantees that Ukraine would have if it were a member of NATO. But they are still a strong signal at a very tense time. They have been under discussion for uh, several months now, but they're particularly relevant right now because of recent comments by former U.S. President Donald Trump threatening NATO allies. Those comments have really worried a lot of people in European capitals, notably in Paris and Berlin. Uh, and the message from these agreements today is really that European countries will support Ukraine over the long term, regardless of what happens in the U.S. elections later this year. And European countries will do what they can to defend this continent against Russia. This also comes at a time when worries about Putin are intensified because of the news today that Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny died in prison.